Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. All right, take a look at the numbers out there. And boy, when you look at this extended forecast, yeah, it's been a little on the chilly side today, hasn't it? We've had rain, seven tenths of an inch of rain has fallen in the Treasure Valley, and it looks like we've got even more coming, but not necessarily coming up for the day tomorrow. I think tomorrow we're going to get a little bit of a break coming in, and that break means we'll get a little sunshine. Here you see it on the extended forecast. Look at this, 66 degrees. If you take away the rain and keep the same air mass around, you can still warm it up dramatically. So instead of being 49 or 50, we'll be up to 66 tomorrow with a break. And it's not going to be sunny from start to finish. There'll be clouds mixed in, especially with the lingering moisture around. But boy, another storm comes slamming in on Sunday. This should bring a steady rain as well. Will it be as rainy as today? Maybe not. Some charts are showing that. But boy, it goes Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. These three kind of a one two punch comes in. One storm comes in for Sunday. It wraps into Monday and another one wraps in on Tuesday, which lingers into Wednesday before we finally start to dry out and warm up back into the 60s again. So when you take a look at Sunday, Monday and Tuesday and even into Wednesday, generally in the 50s, maybe getting into the 60s by later the day on Wednesday. So we break down the day tomorrow. It's going to be a lot different than it was during the day today. 72 is the normal high temperature will be below normal now as you can see uh, the way the temperatures are supposed to go instead of dropping off later in the day like they did today. They're actually holding steady. We'll get into the 60s wind speeds today. We've been 15 tomorrow less than 10 miles an hour. The probability of precipitation. Look at this next to nothing. So we're going to get rid of that rain. Uh, no rain during the day. And as far as our cloud cover goes, let's take a look at the cloud cover. How about this? Lots of sunshine, so a huge change coming in for tomorrow. But again, on the weather maps, it's just a little sliver of a change coming in, a little sliver of a break before more of this green starts to move on in. This is the latest Doppler radar, lighter green, so the rain is not as heavy, but it's still pretty steady in many locations. Many events being canceled during the day today. The rain wrapping that northwest flow comes uphill through the Treasure Valley. That's what keeps that rain going uphill. Uphill uh, air travel tends to cool and, uh, and stay moist. And so you see that rain continuing. It's raining in here as well. There's just no radar coverage in the Boise Mountains because of the blockage from the beam being blocked by Bogus Basin. Here in the Sun Valley area, it's rain, but the higher peaks, snow up at the Bora Peak. You're getting above 7,000 feet there. Snow is flying, but in the West Central Mountains, it's as low as 6,400 feet. If you go to my Facebook page, my friend Bob Dodge sent in a picture of himself today, uh, this morning. <clears throat> at the top of C Sesh Summit, which is 6,434 feet, I believe, with snow coming down. So that was at 6,400 feet. He says the road, by the way, to Warren may not be open. Typically, it's, they try to get it open by Memorial Day. Might even be later because there's still three feet of snow at the summit. Here's that low pressure that was over Northern California. It's sitting over the Magic Valley with moisture just rotating around it. And that's why we're getting that northwest flow, bringing that moisture right through the Treasure Valley. This storm system will finally exit, and that will allow some drier air to work its way in from the north and west overnight tonight. And this is the break in the weather just to the west here. So there's Saturday's weather with sunshine. But then on Sunday, here's more moisture coming on in. And Monday, that next storm system will come wrapping on in and come right across southern Idaho as well. And that's why we get that one day break. And it's on Saturday only one day only folks. McCall 39 degrees for much of the day today. It was raining damp and cold with snow in the mountains tomorrow, partly to mostly cloudy in the mid 50s. We're back to the rain on Sunday and Monday as well. And when you look at the charts here, different computer charts have different amounts of rain. Two tenths with this chart, eight tenths with this one, and this one was accurate today as we had a lot more moisture. So another soaking likely coming in for Sunday and Monday. My exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today. Enjoy it. It's going to be a beautiful day. Lighter wind, sunshine. It will feel warmer than 66. It will feel like that 70 in the Western Valley. I'll call it a pleasant day. The wind won't be that strong. Clouds will hang around in the mountains. There could be a lingering shower on the mountain tops, especially 55 in McCall. Stanley Sun Valley has a better chance of keeping a couple of showers around, at least uh, isolated showers popping up. While the Magic Valley, you should dry out as well, getting milder at 65 four degrees my extended forecast one day only Don we're back to the rain on Sunday I think I know which day I want to do outdoor activities that would be tomorrow yeah, graduation ceremonies and graduation parties uh, all day tomorrow we should be good and into the evening I think we'll still be fine but midday looks really nice tomorrow good all right thanks Scott. Yeah.